What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And most importantly, welcome back to another video on the Me vs. Me series, episode number six, man. This is gonna be a really good episode, I feel like. I wanted to hop on here. It's uh, currently Tuesday, August 29th. I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I was trying to think if I was gonna film or not. And really just what I was gonna film. And this is kind of as far as I got. Um, as far as deciding my workouts to post in this video tomorrow, but I just wanted to hop on here and say everything's going pretty good Six weeks out, baby. This Saturday will make five weeks out. I'm so freaking I'm pumped man I'm so freaking pumped like this My I don't have words to express my excitement to be completely honest with you And I have a lot of other exciting things going on in my life right now It's just I'm very blessed, you know, praise God on that one um, but nah, really, I just wanted to hop in this first little clip. I wanted to uh, kind of go over some stuff of my layout um, that I might have um, that most people maybe, maybe they just don't know what it is. Or, you know, if you're just someone who walks into a gym, you might not know what a lot of this stuff is. So I'm going to go ahead and tune in to uh, what I got laid out here on my bed. All right, guys, first and foremost, excuse how dirty they are. I have my SBD knee sleeves. I'm currently in a size small. This is in the old fabric. They came out with a new fabric, which I also have in a blue and white. And it's more thick. So, like, how these are kind of, like, flat. They've been used. Um, the other ones, they just kind of, they can stand up anywhere. Um, next is one of my favorite things. Um, barbell Commission uh, padded shorts. Now, I mean, I've ripped them uh, and stuff like that just around this area and had to resell them and stuff. These shorts, now I've had a lot of questions on these, and a lot of people truthfully have asked me, are they like multi-ply shorts or anything? The answer to that is no. These are nothing like what multi-ply briefs or single-ply briefs, none of the geared lifting guys. This is nothing like that. This is just a simple compression short. Now you can see, you know, right down here it's about that thick. It's pretty much that thick all the way around. Uh, what these do... This is, uh, for all my viewers who know, obviously know what knee sleeves are and how you use them. This is a basic knee sleeve, just in shorts. Um, this actually protects your hips. Uh, this is a little thicker at the top, but it doesn't have anything in it to where you're really gonna freaking, you know, just gain some stuff out of it. Um, but these shorts, man, these are like my favorite. I have two pair. Um, they protect your hips. I am a sumo deadlifter now. And I'm also a low bar squatter, so my hips honestly take a beating. And I've started wearing these during deadlifts and squats. They have truly, truly, truly saved me. Make sure y'all go to Barbell Commission uh, and get get a pair of these. They save your hips. It is like a knee sleeve for your hips. Trust me when I say that. Uh, next on my list, you know, I got my little shirt. My Discipline, Commitment, Passion shirt. Um, freaking just trying to match the colorway really tomorrow. Uh, next we got my notorious lifts that have taken a beating. My boy DJ actually tossed me these. Um, I love these slippers. Now, there are some new slippers out on the market called Avancus or Vancus, however you pronounce it, that Stu got. They look super tight, super slick, uh, and I plan to eventually get a pair of the, those, but, uh, for now we're rocking with these. Good old leather Chuck Tays. These are my absolute favorite. I love these. They're kind of beaten up, and I feel so bad that they're that dirty, but all-time fave. Next, we're coming over here to Riptone. Uh, code Tyla P12 at checkout, for real. It's T-Y-L-E-P-12 at checkout. I think you get, like, 10 or 15% off. Truly a good belt. I've had this belt for, like, three and a half some years. 10-millimeter belt. It's done me super good. I love this thing. You know, we got the baby powder for the quads because my quads is growing and stuff, and they help on deads, gangster wrist wraps, um, and all that good stuff, you know, to protect my wrist, keep me good and sturdy on the bench, and then my Nike bag. So, I mean, pretty much there you have it on that. All right, guys. So, really, there you have it with uh, my whole layout. My layout's pretty simple. I understand some people may go more hardcore or whatever i guess i don't know and i got chalk in my back so anyways um that's just a little basic layout i just felt the need to show that just to i guess add something to this video um 
but really that's that's gonna bring me to the end of this um i'm gonna holler at y'all in the morning i'm gonna get up probably super super early the gym opens at five or five thirty, one of the two and then um i'm gonna try and get there about five thirty or six or so maybe seven we'll see how it goes but uh i'll holler at y'all when i wake up what's up guys welcome back um i can't even begin to lie to y'all my whole intentions was to get up like super early and usually I am. Usually I'm up by like 6.30 to 8 in between that time frame. It's like 9 something now. And I'm just not getting in my car to go to the gym. Uh, reasons being, I made a playlist for the gym. <laughs> and it took me to like 2 a.m. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and drive down to the gym. And uh, I'll probably just do a little voiceover or something. Give it like while I was trying my warm-ups. Um, I'll probably do a voiceover explaining our day and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get down here, get this work in, and get back home. I'll see y'all down there. Hey, guys. Welcome to the gym. As you can see, doing some pretty simple warming up right here, getting ready for deads on the day. I believe we have a 4 by 5 at 80% on deads. And then followed after that, we have a 6 by 6 at 80 on bench. Um, you know, this is the first week back after taking our week off from deads. So I'm, I'm hoping everything rolls good today. Um, so, you know, tag along. We're going to see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, and so there you have it for Dead's. Uh, Dead's moved a little rough today, um, but we got it done. We came in and got it done. Uh, here I'm using a PVC pipe to kind of warm up my body, get my shoulders and my, my muscles moving for bench press and everything. Uh, I like using this. I think this is a very great tool to use as far as stretching and everything goes to get ready for a bench press. But uh, let's tag along onto bench, and we have a six by six that we're working up to today.
All right, guys. Ugh, trying to catch my breath. There you guys have it for today's episode. I really wanted to start filming in more to like my accessories, but I had to get out and you know get you know I got stuff I got to do for I got to go to work. So you know I kind of had to just go ahead and film what I needed to film, hit my sets, get in, get out type thing. Um, no, dude, everything moved all right today. Deads felt terrible. I'm not even going to begin to lie to you guys. Deads, this is the worst deads have felt in months. I don't know if it's because I woke up and I instantly just started waking myself up, trying to force wake myself up to get here to the gym. I think that has a lot to do with it. And then hitting everything. Um, but overall, guys, deads just didn't feel that great today. We still hit what we needed to hit, but it just overall didn't feel that great. Bench is feeling fine uh six by six freaking you know like i stated when i was warming up earlier and everything but overall guys six weeks out this saturday makes us five weeks out hopefully i still get to compete there's a much larger reason behind that but we're acting like we're still gonna compete uh, i just have some important uh career stuff happening right now and i'm just hoping that the time frames get to work out that way i can still compete but if not i truly understand and if i don't get to compete in this meet don't think that I, this prep series is over we'll just continue it and i'll find another meet to where once i'm on my career path that i think i'm heading um the schedule works out so i'm not you know this, this is not a lot of confusion it's not a lot of stuff that i don't need to deal with you know what i mean anyways guys thanks for tuning in like share comment I'll be sharing this to all my socials. Uh, appreciate y'all tuning in, man. I'll see y'all here on the next one. T-Pad out.